Hi, Brent Tech here. Where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is finally testing a useful feature in Paint. And I must be honest, this feature has been a long time in the making and a long time coming. And one I'm very personally happy to see roll out where they are now testing a new background removal tool in Windows 11's built-in image editor, which is currently being tested in the dev and the canary channels of the Windows 11's Insider program. And the new tool is available in Microsoft Paint version 11.2306.30.0. Now Microsoft has this to say about the tool. With background removal, you can now remove the background of any image automatically in just one click, leaving a smooth cutout of the subject. So a little bit of Photoshop finally making its way into Windows 11's built-in image editor. Microsoft carries on to say, a background removal can detect the subject from the entire canvas or from a selection using the selection tool. Now, how this is all going to work at the end of the day, it's actually a very simple process. Uh, to get started, you paste or import content onto the canvas and click on the new remove background button in the toolbar. So that's this button here to the top left of the toolbar. So you uh, click on the remove background button in the toolbar to remove the background on your entire image. Uh, you can also use the rectangle select to specify an area that you want to remove the background on. So a very useful feature, um, background removal tool currently being tested in the Canary and the Dev channel. And Microsoft has been giving Paint a lot of attention. And I think this is going to be a very useful feature, which I think will roll out to an up and coming stable version uh, in the near future. And as mentioned at this stage, uh, the updated version of Paint is only available uh, in the uh, Canary and Dev channel for the Windows 11 insiders who find themselves in those channels. But it should not be long before I think everyone will get access to this new tool. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.